Here's how to install Jing on Windows. You, I'm using Windows 7. I'm going to open up a browser and go out to google.com and I'm going to do a search for install Jing. And you can see that the download comes up as the first item in the Google search. So I'll click on that link and that'll take me out to the TechSmith page. You can also go directly out to this URL. So once we get out to TechSmith's page, we'll click on the Start Windows Download. And this is going to automatically download the installation program. Now I'm going to take and put that on my desktop. And you can see the name of it is jing.exe. So that is our installation program. It's a really fast download. And I'll close this out. And here's my installation program. So EXE stands for executable. So I'm going to double click on that. And it's going to run the installation. I'll just tell it to run. And then it does the install. Click on Finish. To use Jing, go to your Windows icon, and in the search field, just type in Jing, and you'll see the program right here. So click on that program. And once Jing is running, it's going to display a small sun down in the bottom of your screen. Now Jing, the Jing Sun has three options. The first option is the capture. You use this to do your videos or your screen capture. The second option is history, and that gives you access to screencast.com. And the last option is More Preferences, so that's where you would do your settings. So let's go into Preferences, and we'll click on the gear. Now, it'll probably come up automatically when you do the installation, but you can manage your account. And this is the screen that will look, that will come up when you first start up. And this sets you up with Screencast. And Screencast is the web server where the videos are stored, so you don't have to keep them on your computer. Uh, if you've heard of cloud computing, this is a good example of cloud computing. So if you fill out that information, this is a free service that comes with Jing. And I'm just going to use my existing account. You can change your formats. There's also, you can do a Swift file. This is a flash file, and those are becoming outdated now. So I recommend using the MPEG-4. Also, you can check here to start Jing when, it, when your computer starts up. But that takes up memory, and I prefer not only to run Jing when I need it. Uh, you can set your hotkeys. And... But basically, I just manage the account and set up my MP4, and then I click on the checkbox icon, and I'm done. And now Jing is ready to record.